Welcome back to What Arty Nibs for General Disturbance, and this is an FV304, otherwise known as Bert the Avenger. It's the Tier 6 British SPG, and we're on the North Spawn, or rather, they should say North Spawn, it's the South East Spawn, South West Spawn, get it right, uh, of Highway. And it's being commanded by Freddy Boy. Now, it says hit and run on the side of his Bert. And it says, what's that? Impertinent on the other side. <laughs> and various symbols on it as well. Now, the Burt, it actually has the uh, title of being the fastest SPG in the game. 72 kilometers per hour. It's a little monster. And in its previous incarnations, when it was slightly less fat, it was a little troll machine. Yes, it could sneak up alongside Denny Heavy get below their gun depression and troll them to death by pounding them with that uh, 4.5 inch howitzer and Freddy Boy has got a very short range that's the unfortunate thing about the Burt it doesn't have a very long range but what it makes up for in fire rate and accuracy and he's after that MT25 rounds out oh he hit the building I think he hit the um, the, s the tower because uh, he's near that tower and uh, I think the shell hit the tower that's why he's got a red line there so he can't fire at t that particular target at the moment because the shell would hit the tower first yep the bird's got a very limited range I'm afraid but as I said it makes up for that by having a tremendous ability to smack the enemy Okay, we've got a Tiger 1 here. You know, you can probably just hit that as if it keeps backing away like that. Rounds out. Oh, no, it's going to fall behind. Now you can hit him. It's loaded now. It's going to wait for him to side scrape again. He's obviously side scraping to hit that KV 85. One of the few tanks that can actually take out a Tiger. Fires the round in. And this time round, he gets a hit. 146 hit points, but unfortunately they lost the KV-85. Uh, scores are three all at the moment. Now he's waiting for that Tiger 1 to side scrape again. But we've got a whole bunch of new heavies turned up in the city. Or in the town, whichever one you call it. There's a Black Prince there. Now you can hit that. And there's a medium, a T-34-3 moving fast. The Black Prince will make the better target. Round out, direct hit, 130 hit points, one critical hit. And the other good thing about the Bert is if the enemy does threaten you, you can run away from them. They can't catch up with you. In fact, the only thing that can keep up with you is light tanks. <laughs> okay, that Black Prince got a small hit there for 123. He's loaded. Now, right, which is he going to go for? Let's go for the Black Prince again, rounds out, and it pulls forward, but he gets a direct hit on the engine deck. 208 hit points this time. Now the enemy seem to be doing rather well in the city. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Round out on the Black Prince. And that lands nearby, but not on the target. And that VK 101 p is up against two Black Princes. That's dangerous. Yes, he's losing health at a massive rate. But he gets a good hit there on the Black Prince, so, yep, there goes the VK. At least he managed to get something off that uh, Black Prince, even if it was only 37 hit points. But now, uh, I think that uh, Freddy Boy is going to have to start thinking about moving, because the enemy is starting to defeat the rest of the remaining defenders on this side. In fact, there's only a T-29 and this T-26 E4 holding the line against the enemy horde. Meanwhile, the, his team is capping at the other end. Okay, he's lined up a shot to try and hit the VK as it comes around. Fires around in. Oh, nearly hit his own teammate there. Now that uh, 
Super Pershing's backing away. He's loaded. Rounds out. He near hit on the T-34 there. It's a real ding-dong battle going on in town. Okay, that 3001 is staying close to that T-26. Going for the T-34-1. Gets a lovely direct hit there. 202 hit points. He's down to only 82 now, so he shouldn't survive very long with that sort of health. I think the T-29 might get him, but the T-29's headed the opposite direction. So he fires around in and gets another good hit. 55 hit points this time. Now uh, that T-29's in a lot of trouble because he's, uh, he's facing one way, but the enemy's actually behind him. And he backs in. Oh, he's down to his last few hit points now. And he's been taken out. Now, Freddy Boy needs to move. He needs to get out of there, quick. Right, another near miss. But he needs to get away. He, he's, um, there's only one other teammate, and he's the guy who's capping at the other end. T-34-100, and he's capped out. He's won. They've won the battle. Oh, what's happened? His teammate's just been killed, even though he completed the cap. And they've won! They captured the base, but he's the last one left alive. And I think we all know what that means. Would you believe it? Well, third class tanker and a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. But he got a collar ban off! Because his teammate managed to cap out at the other end, but was killed after he completed the cap. Freddy Boy was left alone as the last remaining member of his team. And that meant he won a collar ban off. Because the cap was completed, and then his teammate was killed. Um, so, although he should have survived with his teammate to uh, win the battle, um, he get, gets an automatic collar ban off for being the last one alive. Brilliant work. Anyway, <laughs> you couldn't say, say an easier collar ban off, really, on that one. Um, let's have a look at the team score for that one. Well, he came sixth when it came to damage with 909 hit points uh he didn't get any kills at all puts him way down the table there and when it came to base xp 370 again it puts him mid table below mid table uh when it comes to the detail report he fired 15 rounds got five direct hits five penetrations eight splash damage of 909 hit points of which 436 were at more than 300 meters so a lot of those shots were very close to the targets um he managed to hit five enemy vehicles, but didn't kill any at all. Uh, on a premium account, he earned 21,924 credits. And after ammunition resupply, and it's really cheap, the ammunition for the BERT, uh, because it's only the uh, uh, 4.5 inch howitzer, um, he actually took away 26,067 credits because there's a holy ops bonus missing out of that. And he received um, 555 uh, XP. And it was times two for the first victory of the day. And there's a Holy Ops bonus in there as well. So he took away 1,310 uh, experience points. But the amazing thing is he took away a collar ban off uh, because his teammate won the battle and then gifted uh, the team uh, the collar ban off by being killed at the last second um, or just after the game had finished. Um, so very nice indeed. I think we should give a big shout out to the... Uh, T-34-3 who managed to uh, complete the tap um, or the T-34 at the other end. I think it was one of these two gentlemen at the other end and I think we can check that. Yes, it's this gentleman here. It's Rudy 104 Kuba um, or G Rudy 102 Kuba I should say um, of uh, the Pep B, uh, Pep B um, clan who managed to cap out and get 100 capture points uh, in his constructor T-34-100, and then died, gifting the collar ban off. So well done, Rudy, 102 Cuba. <laughs> that is probably one of the funniest uh, collar ban offs I've seen for a while. Um, but uh, it's just as valid as any of the others. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this replay. If you did, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel because uh, we need all the subscribers we can get. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in our next video.